really excited to work in a Mazda. As you can see, I even bought the shirt. Yeah, it says Mazda. Today, as Ming said, we will have body kit wise, exterior wise into this car. We we'll have the flash, we we'll have the wing, we we'll have even a rear diffuser for it. Okay, so the first part we actually have ready for this car is this rear diffuser. Uh, this is actually a fancy white style for E36. This is the diffuser, but we managed to retrofit it into our Mazda. We have to cut some things, like we make this bit shorter, uh, we make this bit smaller, but overall, uh, it will fit. And the next bit is this. These are from eBay. This is actually for an i86. We managed again to retrofit this in for our Mazda, but we have to like switch it out so it matches the body line. So what is supposed to be for the front left of the car will have to be on the rear right, right side of the car because i86 is a rear-wheel drive car, so they have wider arches on the back while this car is front wheel drive and have wider arches on the front do like that right yeah so but we will uh, let you see how we fit it but this is like really really good stuff the fiber itself is really thick and sturdy and i think this is the best bit that will make our car looks different yes and this is the next thing this is uh rear spoiler for uh, Civic Nova. Uh, we do a lot of modification into this thing. We made the edge a bit rounder uh, and we shortened this bit so it has the angle of our uh, Mazda rear hatch. Yeah, uh, it will be mounted with a screw here. I think uh, this one is called the Kanjo style. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. Osaka Kanjo, Kanjo style. inspired yeah. rear wing. So because our Mazda doesn't have actually like the off the shelf uh, on the shelf part, we will have to retrofit a lot of parts. But uh, these things we have here will make our Mazda really different. So this wing will replace. Oh no, it's raining. Okay, we will have to move the car inside the garage Time to cut it. chopped up the wheel, uh, the wheel wells as well as the fender and with this we can uh, assure that this wheel is going to have no clearance issues at all with this car. We we'll chopped it up and make it further away. Instead of being super easy just like the front, uh, this one is pretty complex because we have one moving part which is the door and the rear quarter fender as well. Uh, so we're basically going to chop this part just a bit to make sure that it'll fit. The tires will fit when we lower it and 
at first we thought that we might be able to uh, get away with just folding this part of the door this little part right under the fender flare but after a few minutes of you know visualizing the how the car will look i think folding this thing will, won't be sufficient So now that I've chopped up every single one of these fender, we're basically going to finish up and put on back the fender flares. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel and see more of these content in this car as well. Thanks for your support. Cut to the beauty.